Yeah, we have to decide what we're going to do because really, uh, I think in a macro way, environmentally, we're really on the brink of disaster. I really, I, I, I don't even read this stuff, but uh, I got emails from people who are saying that the uh, that nuclear reaction reactor in, in Japan this is going to destroy the Pacific. It's like everybody is like an ostrich. They're not looking at it. And so that we really have to decide how, not what we're going to do. The teaching is like, maybe we can't do so much. It's how we're going to be with all of this. We have to really have to, like a really optimistic view of future lifetimes. You know, some few of us might commit ourselves to political action or humanitarian action. You know, that, that's completely uh, noble uh, as an outer expression. But however we're going to, to, to uh, face these things, we have to know how we're going to be inwardly. It's a very good incentive to practice while you have the circumstances to do it. I've said this before, so somebody has translated it before. Like I was never drawn to the to the Buddha Dharma uh, by meditation. I, I didn't know what meditation was, so that wasn't my magnetizing. It wasn't like I was going to be. <laughs> The, the, what drew me to the Buddha Dharma was the ideal of the Bodhisattva, the, the enlightened warrior, that no matter what the circumstances are, you know, the darkest prison, the, 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 the most pervasive famine, the environmental catastrophe, then that person knows what to do with the mind. Then the meditation, uh, becomes a necessity because we do not know what to do with our mind unless we learn how to meditate. So then, belatedly, reluctantly, with hesitation and failing, then you know, I try to meditate so I know what to do with my mind if you know I die. You know, because uh, we we need to to really be able to go to the edge to the edge of our ability. Like we're, we're kind of like in the middle now, in our comfort zone. I, I said this before, and I said it like in a really sloppy way, but this is my belief, that we're kind of protected in our comfort zone here. And you know, like most of us who are in the Sangha, we have refuge, and we have this protection. But we need to be willing to go out there as well, to the edge, to where we can really uh, see like how we are, whether we're warriors or whether we're cowards, whether we really believe in illusion or whether we just are trying to protect our mirage. Really, you have to do what strengthens your character. Like all of us have certain uh, qualities uh, as a group. We, there's an interdependence of qualities. We rely on each other, and we rely, I, I, at least I do, on qualities that I don't have. I like rely on the interdependence of qualities of others. It is kind of humbling to do that, but it's really true. I have to say this. You need to look at your own qualities. Like, you have qualities. They're really like your legacy that you've left yourself from previous life. This is what Zanzer Kinsey's uh, poem is about. You've left yourself a legacy. You have these specific qualities that are different from the person who's sitting next to you. Uh, we can all look at the different lamas who come here. They all have different qualities. And so then you need to strengthen your own qualities and offer them. You really need to like make sure you have confidence 
in your qualities. It might be just one quality. But to, to have that confidence and say, okay, when everything becomes really difficult, at least I can offer this, then, you know, that's a confidence. We're totally gunning the governor to read the biographies of the great masters for inspiration. Well, if I read, like, the biography of Yeshi Socha, which I've done many times, they feel like they have no qualities whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Zero. It's like, it's an embarrassment. But you really can't, uh, now in this time of intensity, when everything is, like, very, very edgy, you can't, like, just say, well, I'm not Yeshi Socha, so I don't have qualities, so I can't do anything. If I have one quality, there are two. There's one is I'm a little bit practical. And the second is I have some sort of sense of humor. But those two things are like streaks in a world that's degenerating. You, know, you need some practical people and you need you know, some sort of sense of humor, even if it's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicate this entire 